There's uh, many uh, different things that need to go right to, to make a perfect anchorage. When you think you've got all those right, you go outside and you have a glass of water and then you get swarmed. There is hundreds out there. We're choosing to just leave. There's another anchorage not too far from here. The sea's been different than we expected in a lot of ways. A little bit more repetitive than we thought it would be. But this bay feels really special and we're really excited for the Bay of LA, which is coming up. We feel very at peace. I'm Kate, and this is my husband, Mick. Our kids, Thomas and Bentley. Five years ago, we had this crazy idea to travel the world with our kids, and never did we imagine our mode of transportation would be a sailboat. These are my parents. It's been their lifelong dream to sail across oceans. And so together, a dream was born. Come along with us as we learn, laugh, <laughs> I play with I play with boats. And explore. And hey, don't forget to hit subscribe. I just can't stop singing. Oh, how baby, I love you. We're leaving San Francisco area and we're heading out to the Midriff Islands. So there's a group of islands kind of in the middle of the Sea of Cortez called the Midriff Islands and we're going to hit up a couple of anchorages and then we will head back to the mainland to an area called Bahia Animas and then we're going to be really close to Bay of LA. We're almost at our final destination in the sea, well yeah. I guess cruising style. It's where we're going to hang out for most of the summer, hopefully see some whale sharks. Hopefully cool off in some cooler water because it's going to get a lot hotter in July and August. That's kind of the plan. I think we've talked about how exhausting the heat is out here. We are definitely trying to find ways to stay cool and floating in the water is a good way. When it's not super humid, it's bearable. The humidity I did not expect because I think desert up here. Anyway, should be a good sail. We have 20 nautical miles to go today. We are on a broad reach and we're just flying our jib. How fast do we go? Almost five knots. Wow. Cruising along here, we've done 17 miles now. We haven't even had to change tacks. We've been able to sheet the stay sail in tight just to help with the rocking motion. We're only about an hour away actually from where we need to go. It is gonna be tricky getting in there because we're gonna to have to turn soon and have the seas more beam on. But I'm hoping as we get closer that the waves will be a bit smaller. I don't know, this is pretty, this is pretty easy, eh? I'm interested to see this anchorage. What island are we going to? I'm not going to say it because I can't pronounce it. Isla Salsipuedes. That's the best I can do. Salsipuedes. That's a very narrow slot of an anchorage. They say you should stern tie. That just concerns me. In case there is strong crosswinds, we'll see what it's like when we get there. That little tiny rock is where we're going. up to the island and it was feeling not great and we were kind of thinking do we really want to anchor at this island 10 miles offshore that's quite exposed. I think the big thing now is that the wind is coming right from the east instead of from the south or southeast which it's supposed to but the position the wind is coming from doesn't make us feel too comfortable about where our anchored anchoring position will be. I'm gonna turn. Yeah, there's dozens and dozens of anchorages up here. If there's one that makes you feel uncomfortable, then I think it's okay to just push off to the next one. There's Isla Partida. Looks more like an island 
we want to visit. Would you agree? I do. Less like just a rock in the middle of nowhere. That other spot might have been fine, but we just didn't have a feel good feeling about it, so we didn't go. We are at Isla Partida and it's now 6.30 at night and it might be cool enough to go explore the island a little bit. We tried a bit earlier, it was stinking hot, wasn't it? It's a very hot day. Yeah. We had to wait till it cooled off a bit and we're gonna get off the boat. Boys haven't been off the boat for two days. It's time to go stretch our legs. I think the birds had claimed that cave because it just smelled like bird poopies. That one. What did you find? A shark tooth. A shark, tooth. A shark lover found a shark tooth. That sounds weird. Good find. Bentley, you doing some beach cleanup? Crazy how much plastic's on this beach, hey? It's very easy. What do you think those are from? I don't know. So you found them? They were sitting just like that. That's a whale bone, Mom. Mommy thinks a whale bone? Look at these! This is the craziest place. What do you think it's from? A dolphin? That was sort of my best guess too. It's pretty crazy. What do you think the teeth are from? Funny looking teeth, aren't they? Goodbye, son. Click. It's gone. Lights out. Lights out. Time to go home. It's just. Wow. What is that? It's a lobster head. It's huge. Hold it up to your head. Check that out, T. It has to be one of the prettiest sunsets we've had here at Isla Partida. There's not really anything to do here. It's just a bunch of rocks, but there's a really nice breeze always blowing through to keep us cool. There's no bees, no bugs. The water temperature is perfect. I don't know. Do you stay another day or do you go off and look for something different? It's always hard to make that decision. We do have time on our side. I think I'm leaning towards staying. The sunsets here are beautiful, especially with all those islands in the background. What you working on? Bit of windless maintenance. We've been very fortunate. I don't think there's anything really that has stopped us from moving forward except for our alternator, which was, that was months and months ago. Was that seven months ago? And apart from that, everything's been going great. I like your shade. Thanks. We are leaving beautiful Isla Partida. We are heading the exact direction we want to go on a beautiful beam reach. When does that ever happen? And the sea state is calm. It's really interesting up here because the charts are actually inaccurate. As we left Partida, the peninsula that we we're tucked behind actually came out a, probably twice as far, an extra half a mile. Anyway, the charts are way off. 
I've just never really encountered that before, but it just tells you how remote it is up here for Navionics to not be up to date. It is really remote up here. I, I feel like it's actually hard to describe to people how crazy the Baja is. There's just like no towns, no other boats. We had an anchorage, an island to ourselves. We didn't see any, a soul. For but... three nights. That just never happens. We didn't even see a ponga. Looking. What? So tell us about the bees in the Sea of Cortez. Well, they just get you. They just get you. There's uh, many uh, different things that need to go right to, to make a perfect anchorage. When you think you've got all those right, you go outside and you have a glass of water and then you get swarmed. We cooked some rice in our Instapot and there was a tiny bit of moisture around the side. And I put the Instapot outside because it was warm to cool off so we didn't have that heat inside. When I'm talking about moisture, I'm talking about like a teaspoon of water. And look what it's created. Thirsty, thirsty bees. Hey, Bentley? Yeah, no. We are in the desert and the bees are extremely thirsty. And they can supposedly smell fresh water from like ages away. We heard about this possibility, so we did make some nets for most of our, like our companion way, most of our windows. Oh, it's freaky. Can you hear it? What are we going to do? I want to leave, but how do we get outside to steer the boat? There's nothing here for them, so why are they here? Ah! Oh, in. This is really, really bad. There is hundreds out there. And they're coming in. There's one on the screen. And there's one here. Like, who would have thought? It's just really, really bothersome. There's a lot of effort to get into this place. And it's beautiful, but we can't get out to enjoy it. Once again, we're being pushed out of our anchorage by bugs. It's not that big of a deal, really. It's just the fact that, like, we can't really do anything. We're just trapped in here, and they are finding their way in through cracks and stuff, and it's just kind of a nuisance. So we're going to leave. We're choosing to just leave. There's another anchorage not too far from here. I'm sad we won't get any drone shots of this place because it's so beautiful. But maybe we can come back in the fall, and the bees won't be as bad, maybe? I don't know. Time to go, though. Ah, gracias. Earlier in the day, we had placed a bucket of fresh water on the beach to try and entice the bees away from us. It clearly did not work, and now we need to go collect the bucket and get out of here. What have you discovered, Bentley? 
Bees don't like wind? Yeah. I'm fanning them away. You can't probably see them in the camera, but they're everywhere. Okay, let's get the F out of here. They're on you. I know. Okay. They've been on me for like 20 okay. minutes. Bye, beautiful Animas slot. Sorry we didn't really get to enjoy you. The sea comes with some challenges. Aye, aye, Captain. We're just headed over there to the other side. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very beautiful here. Check out that anchorage we were in all by ourselves. This is the same spot we saw Megapod come out of yesterday, is it not? Is it the same pod? I wonder. Look at the splashing. They're so cute. They're teeny tiny. Well, they're just gonna cross. Yeah, it won't be the same as yesterday when they were all around us, I don't think. They're gonna cross in front of us. Woo! Look at, look at how slow we're going. Hello, Jack. <laughs> Why is that big boat moving so slow? What in the world are you doing, crazy kid? Fork's too hot. The fork is too hot? <laughs> I'm also editing a funny scene of you on the next episode as well. Me, me, so it's like me, double me. funny happening. <laughs> me, 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 Every time I film you, you're eating those noodles. It happens a lot. We don't eat them that often, but we do eat them on passage often for lunch, don't we? Me, 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 me. Cause they're easy. Where are we, Miguel? I don't know, is, does this little island have a name? I don't know, but what's the bay? Can you, it's called Pescadores. There's a little island right in the bay. It's just this tiny little rock, beautiful sandy beach. That's really cool here. Hi, Adam. Good morning. Once again, it feels like we've slowed right down. Meeting up with friends unexpectedly in a remote anchorage is one of cruising's many joys. The kids happily caught up with their friends and we relaxed and enjoyed this amazing little bay. Coming up to my feet, I feel like they're gonna bite me. This is amazing. How nice is this beach? They have big orange eyes. See them over there? I do. Whoa, there's one right there. <laughs> I am not filming with a GoPro right now, but it looks like I am. Not a bad place to park your home. This is fantastic. We are only 10 miles away from the village in Bay of LA, but really much only maybe five miles away from the bay, hey? Correct. Something yeah, like it's that. It's like around the corner. And Bay of LA feels like a big deal. It's kind of the spot that if you come up the sea, that's as far as you go a lot of the time. We actually are going to go further, but it's the spot where the whale sharks choose to hang out, hopefully. And there's a little village there where hopefully we can get some produce and do some laundry. It's the spot we're gonna hang out for six-ish weeks. We're not really sure how long. We'll see how much we like it before continuing on to Puerto Penasco, where we will haul out and call it an end to this chapter. The sea's been different than we expected in a lot of ways, a little bit more repetitive than we thought it would be, but this bay feels really special and we're really excited for Bay of LA, which is coming up, but it's good. We feel very at peace, I think, after a couple of weeks of feeling kinda, I don't know, maybe like the sea was a little oversold to us, but the great thing about up here is it's so cheap. We're not spending any money because there's nowhere to spend any money. We're with really great kid boats, so the kids are really happy, and there's a simplicity to it up here, which is really nice. I kinda feel like today's a big day. I was just, about to say to what you, are you, here we go, babe, Bay of LA. 
we've made it to the top of the sea really like this is the point where most people turn around yeah this has always been considered the top to us even though we are going to go further this year we've made it